This song is free from copyright, so I can use it for all of my YouTubes. Hey, that's me. Welcome to my latest case, The Curse of Blackmore Manor. To start, choose junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose Gameplay Overview. Y'all know, y'all know the drill. You know what we are here. Us with our AARP cards. Ma'am, we're not new. We're fucking senior detectives. Is she too loud for y'all? It's locked. Dear right Ned, now? greetings from jolly old England. Dear Ned, greetings from jolly old England. Dear Ned, greetings from jolly old okay. England. Dear Ned, greetings from jolly... That... <laughs> Nancy! That was too much. Dear Ned, dear Ned, greetings from jolly old England. Dear Ned, it's locked. We only need it's locked. Not breathings. <laughs> dear Ned, let me know if it's too loud for y'all. I'm sure I can change that at any time. Dear Ned, greetings go. from jolly old England. <laughs> Although right now I'm not so sure about the jolly part. That's because I'm on my way to Blackmore Manor, where the daughter of one of our neighbors I is living. A daughter it. whose name is Linda, recently married Hugh Oh my god, Penguin, I love these real people British pictures. Diplomat. Hugh travels a lot, so the only people at the manor with Linda are Hugh's aunt, Mrs. Drake, and Hugh's 12-year-old daughter, Jane. The thing is... Ever since Linda moved into the this. manor, her health has gone downhill. <gasps> I, I love She's that. practically bedridden, and no one seems to know but why. Were two real her people. mother is convinced something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. It's Jane. So here I am, about to Jane be is dropped what's wrong. off at a huge centuries-old mansion in the She's middle the of devil. a dark, foggy moor. <laughs> I can't tell whether the butterflies in my stomach are because I'm excited or just a tad creeped out. Talk to you soon. I hope. It's giving Nancy. Uncanny Valley. I just love that it went from- like, Night, Mish. Good luck. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Night, Mish. She really ate. She ate with that accent. They spared no expense. Look at this cinematic. It was giving that. Good luck. Nancy is about- 17 years old. Nancy. Who's there? Hello? No. I didn't click on that. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh! There's something out there! Where, child? Why is this so scary? Over there! I mean, something was out me there. Is a uh, come is in. God, she's she's exhausted by me. She's like, Ugh. I'm come Mrs. Drake. In. I take it you are Nancy Drew. Uh, yes, Drake. and I really like did see something, what Mrs. Drake. Does that say? I heard something too. Oh, Nancy. Oh, people are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night, especially uh. you Americans. Why don't you just go on up to your room? It's the one with the moon on the door. I'd like to see Linda, <laughs> if I could. Yeah. I'm afraid Linda is uh, not quite, not quite ready. ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. This is it. I'll be in the conservatory. All right, thank you. This is, uh, they should have made so much money for this game. Oh, yes. All expense went to the VAs for this. Absolutely. I'll be in the conservatory. Nobody's ever died in a conservatory. I'm gonna get some curry. Delish. I'm gonna look in my bag. Oh, I have a cell phone. When did this come out? I need to know when this was originally released. To make a call, enter the phone number and press that. Okay. Welcome to River Heights Wireless. You can email and internet browse. Wow. I can call Ned. No, I don't want to call Ned. Oh, no, I accidentally called Ned. Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, Nancy. Just wanted to let you know I got here safely. So how's Blackmore Manor? 
A little on the spooky side. I literally yeah, heard a ghost say my name and then there was so a dog. Just hi, calling Jamesy. to say hi. I'll talk to you soon. I'll be waiting. This seems a little bad for 2004. Okay, there's nothing to grab inside my bag. Why does this have an exclamation point next to it, though? No. Okay. I don't get that. Wendy Koopa? No. Really? In what? Wendy Koopa has a voice? Hi, Ned. Goodbye. Ah. Uh. T9 texting. I loved T9 texting. Off to sailing camp. Hopefully this will be the year Bess and I win the regatta instead of those snobby Maxwell twins. Bess thinks they should be disqualified for being too tan and setting a bad example for the younger campers when it comes to skincare. Bess, oh my god. I love you. A hearty congratulations. <gasps> it's my love. Oh my god, that's amazing. She's a voice actress in literally anything. Oh my god, Andrew, I was so good at it. Fuck them tan twins. Congrats on your Great Britain gig. We'll be thinking of you while we help our neighbor, Mr. Bergdorf, install his brand new satellite dish and big screen television. This is 2004, indeed. Hopefully our unselfish act of kindness will help him forget all those petunias we trampled while chasing fly balls into his yard and will compel him to invite us over once in a while, like whenever a major sports event is on. Yay, sports balls! Okay. We checked our bag. Is there anything to see in the fireplace? No. What is this? Oh! Okay, that's too difficult for me right now. Okay. Okay, that's a puzzle that we don't know anything about yet. I always loved these. Sammy, are you kidding me? She was a clicker. That's incredible, if that's true. Are you just making this up? John Pendleton. In a faraway place beside a pond since gone dry, there lived a frog named Granny. That's wild. Y'all, just in case you were a Nancy Drew fan, the voice of Nancy Drew, some of you all know her name, she voiced clickers in The Last of Us. Look at that chill as fuck for Rawog. It's such a good album. It's so good. With creepy child photos. Wait, have you played this one, Simadonna? Lonnie Manella. Behind the voice actors. I'm obsessed with her now. I mean, I've always been obsessed with her, but this is incredible. Granny was content to live by himself and never ventured into the pond, for back then, it was a fearsome place full of crocodiles that lurked beneath the surface, just waiting for a tasty little morsel like Granny to swim by. But one day, a beautiful princess appeared on the other side of the pond. Like Granny, she was by herself, for she had been fair unfairly banished from her father's kingdom. Sometimes at night, Granny could hear her singing sad songs and talking to herself out of loneliness. He longed to swim across the pond so they could keep each other company, but he knew the crocodiles would eat him if he tried. So he sat on the shore, croaking mournfully in the moonlight, all alone. Then one day, a kind-hearted water fairy appeared in the mist above the swamp that surrounded the pond and told Granny that she would help him cross the pond so that he and the princess could be together. I'm not sure the princess is into it. Tasty little morsel. Ma'am, what is this? How? Granny asked. I cannot swim across, for the crocodiles are fast and fierce and have eaten more friends and relatives than I dare to count. You will not have to swim, the water fairy replied, for I shall make a path for you. And don't forget, crocodiles tend to hide in the middle of the pond and near trees, and they hate boats. Okay, somebody take note. Water, earth has got a line, fire up, air with a line. With that, a lily pad suddenly appeared in the pond in front of Granny. Although he was still afraid, he summoned his courage and hopped onto it. Then another lily pad appeared, and after that, another one. Granny leapt from one to the next to the next, his tiny heart pounding in his chest. Until at long last, he leapt from the last lily pad onto the dock where the princess sat. She was delighted to see the little frog, and when she realized that Granny had made the perilous journey across the pond just to be with her, she smiled for the first time since her banishment. 
So grateful was she for Granny's company that she gave the Water Fairy a gift, a bright red key, which the Water Fairy soon put to good use. Okay, I need to find this key. And all three lived happily ever after. That's a really good story. He didn't turn into a prince? No, I just think they're friends. Go back, redo. From what? Did I do it wrong? Uh, hi. Who are you? Sexy. Something by the bed? What is this? Oh, there's gonna be sleeping. I love the sleeping mechanic in Nancy Drew games. When you're like, cancel. Ooh. I'll call the cook. Could we get one sandwich, please? Ball's Head Pub, this is Tommy. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Right, right, Nancy Drew, out oh, of the old the Blackmore accents. Manor, are you? Coo, you must be Ank Marvin up there. Pity about your kitchen, but we'll fix you up for some Bex and Posh. Just tell me what you'd like. Uh, okay. What do you have? We've got some loop-de-loop, -loop, bangers and mash, a real fine pinky and perky. Right! And a delicious dog's eye, me fork and knife, just rubber ducked. Hello. Um, <laughs> could you repeat that? Oh, oh sure, my God. We've I got fully can't switch to you, Jamesy. Bangers and mash, pinky and perky and a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. Okay, what should we order? Did he just swear at us? Did he call us a slur? I think the pinky and perky sounds hot. I think we should get a little pinky and perky. Did not sound PC over here. I'm going pinky and perky. I'd like some pinky and perky, please. Good choice. Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder? Uh, okay. All bread and butter. Right, then. That's bread we'll and butter. come round and leave it at your Rory. Oh, and we've got no hot potato about, so it might take a bit. But we'll have it up to you in no time. It has Fish potatoes in it? Okay, I'm going to leave this phone. We're in ads. Oh! <gasps> Why would I be able to do that? That's too scary. This one is so scary, y'all. Oh, we're missing hmm, a, a tripod for, for a, a camera, camera, maybe? In a bedroom? Nancy. I hope it's for pinkies and perkies. She really did. She sounded so perky when she did it. Did I look at this yet? Oh my gosh, there's so much to do in this room. What am I looking at? Oh, this is a lot. That's a lot of information. That's going to be difficult. Is there anything over? Wonder Ooh. what goes there. Something fits in here, but what? Oh my god, the, the amount of times I've said that. Granny? Maybe, yes. Do you think he's ever going to have children? Something fits in here, but what? Oh no, what is this? Star Compass Comet's Bird. Okay, we've got a lot to learn. Let's go step outside the room. Meet the guests. Where are you two Please talking? Work. Can we play a game? Yes, but only in French. Oh. I need the key. We're knock, on knock. lessons right now. Oh, damn it. Hmm. I need something else for this. What do we need for that? That was oh, the forget. most... Stay in Italy as long as you want, then. Some kind of husband you're proving to be. It's not all in my head. Don't bother. I hope I don't get kicked out in this one. I always get kicked out in Nancy Drew games because I enter the rooms at the wrong time. Oh, that was so loud. The tea. Yeah, she really did say, like, it's not in my head, you ass. Where was she? She was in here. That's not your line, Nancy. You know your line. Did she not say it's locked by the time this one came out? I'm going to see her lotions and potions. 
Why can't I look at this? Linda? Hi, it's me, Nancy Drew. Why would I be in this Nancy room? Nancy Drew, our friendly neighborhood detective. Well, welcome to Blackmore Manor. I apologize for greeting you under such unusual circumstances. And I'm sorry to have to bother someone in your condition. Lotion my condition? What's my mother told you? What her <laughs> son-in-law keeps telling me? That it's all in my head? That I'm just an unhappy new bride? That I just need time to adjust? <sighs> I'm tired all the time, my mouth is dry, my vision is blurry. But that's not important. Here's what's important, Nancy. Tell me. There are some doors that should never be opened. I'll get the key. There are some doors that hold secrets which Always must walking. never be known. That's everything you need to know. Now if- Mommy, can I come in? No. You're supposed to be in your lessons. Lessons are over. I want to meet Nancy. I said no, Jane. Okay. No, I want to meet Jane. That was my stepdaughter. She can be such a pest sometimes. Anyway, I understand you feel an obligation demon. to my mother, but trust me. There's nothing you can do. You're welcome to stay. Coffee, but I she's strongly not feeling recommend so well. You go home as soon as possible. Please, Linda, just tell me what's she's wrong. She's not feeling great. So we put a little barrier. Linda? <gasps> Is she gone? Okay, I'll let you rest. But I'll be back. I'm here for you if you need me. Linda, I'm going to open up these damn curtains. I'm going to open up these curtains. I'm going to see your face. Okay, that was RuPaul, and you know it. You heard that RuPaul sound effect. Okay, Linda will not let us talk to her right now. She also won't let us meet Jane. We looked at the table side in here. I think that's all we can do in here at the moment. We haven't gone downstairs yet. Was this? Yeah, that's where I came from. Please, Linda. This what? must be Mrs. Drake's room. Knock, knock. Guess she's not in her room. Well, then I'll just open it. Guess she's not in her room. <laughs> Shy. <gasps> oh, it's just a parrot. Ma'am. <laughs> no, you didn't. Did you? Did you? What's your name? Lolo. Lolo. Okay, Lolo, love me some. Lolo, Lolo. Okay, I get the point. Lulu. Lolo, 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 Lolo. Somebody voiced to this parrot. Somebody sat in a recording room. Do you by any chance know Latin? Why? I'll take that as Why a would yes. it randomly know Latin? Would you Why mind translating something for me? Fire away. Why do I know these things? Equinoctium vernum. The longest day of the year is solstitium, the summer solstice. The shortest day is bruma, the winter solstice. Equinoctium vernum is a spring equinox. Equinoctium autumnalis is a fall equinox. Day equals night. Lulu's always right. What? No, Donna, this is not how birds work. This is not how parrots work. They don't just get into, like, a long dictionary explanation Bye, of words. Bob's your uncle. A asking a parrot for help. I need the key. Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? Do I need to go talk to that bird again? Parrot Google over here. Truly, what was that? The time has come for closing books. Hello. Bye, I can't bird. talk to it again. I don't remember what it said. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Felicity, the door, the door. Why do they give this bird so many voice lines? There goes my cell phone. I got Hello. it. Hi, Nancy. It's Mrs. Petrov. How is everything? Have Her name is Linda Alexa. Yet? Literally speaking, no. But I did talk to her. Not that she told. Literally me. speaking, no. But I did talk to her. Not that she told me anything. I'm just about at my wit's end. I've never known her to act like this. The last doctor that examined her said that aside <laughs> from a little dry skin, she was making some choices, Cavalli. Which is not unusual for her. She was perfectly fine. Why is she hiding behind that curtain? 
I have no idea. When I was out there last week, I got fed up and pulled the curtain back. She threw a fit, but otherwise she looked absolutely normal. A little pale. She's got perhaps, that dry but she skin. Be oh. Pale, cooped up like that. She's got flakes. Something has changed her. Something in that house. Hugh is just as bewildered and upset by her behavior as I am. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. Don't say bottom. You're our last hope. <coughs> Who exactly is Mrs. Who Drake? Who exactly is Mrs. Drake? She's Hugh's aunt. She's taken care of Blackmore Manor ever since her brother died. He was Hugh's father. Dr. Nancy Drew. She's going to cure... We're going to go over there and cure her dry skin. That's why she's got that lotion. I noticed. The way she spends all her time in that conservatory, mm -hmm. slouching around, mm -hmm. trowel in hand, murmuring to herself. You'd think she was burying something. Or somebody. Excuse me? Where is Hugh? He was called to Rome. As a diplomat, he's always being called out of the country without warning and without any say in the matter. He'd much rather be there with Linda, although... Mrs. Petrov? Are you there? It's just that Hugh said it hasn't been very easy for him to talk to her lately. Whenever he calls, which is at least once a day, Linda always seems to fly off the handle for no reason. Which How... doesn't make sense. I have been called Linda to Rome. Are you going on a walk? Good morning, and even emergency med tech. How are she you? She never gets angry. How is the volume at for you At least she didn't used to. Goodbye, Mrs. Petrov. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, one more thing. My niece is on call and her husband's out of town. And, and I told her I'd go over there and babysit if she had to work. So if you call and I don't answer, that's why. Bye. Bye. That doesn't seem suspicious. I think she's hiding something. Oh my god, this hall is busy. Looks like a piece is missing. <coughs> this is a busy game. There's so many rooms. Ooh, a note. Wonder what happened in there. Until the fire damage is repaired. Okay. Well, that's why I ordered the pink and perky. In recognition of Brigitte Penvillain. No, you're not, Bridget. <coughs> Sponsor of the Essex Cr Cricket Club. PP's still live. We chose uh, Nancy Drew. Hi, Lee. Diem perdidi. Okay, that one's talking about the bird talking. Oh, I'm gonna have need to know Latin for this. Thank you, Steph. Ugh, oh, delicious. I gotta finish that bottle today. Did I check this clock? Oh, you can't. And that's the door I came out of. I can't check that. Uh. Into Mother's Lake real quick. I don't know what that means. What are we about to do? What is this? Cleo. What? Ma'am, I have no idea what we're doing. Is it memory? It's not really, though. I should leave. I don't know what that is yet. We will figure it out. Oh, I guess you can win it. 
It looked kind of similar to memory. Oh my God, there's so many. Wait, that's what's above my room. Tarot cards. Yeah, that's sort of more what it seemed like. There's so much Latin in this game. What's this? Ooh! Oh, I'm on a balcony. Inside the greenhouse. Oh my. This one's huge. Looks like John Pendleton may have developed some of the plants that are in here himself. Hot. We got a puzzle. Must lurk for a bit. I'll miss you. Doesn't work. Why does nothing in this freaking mansion work? Oh, it's the frog crossing the lake to the princess. It's Granny. Is after you played this one? It's an older one. It's a 2004. It was scary though. A carnivorous plant. Cool. <laughs> That's probably not a good idea. Okay, we'll wait on that. <gasps> Hello? Messing with her plants is probably not a good idea. What about messing with her pills? <coughs> May cause drowsiness for allergy symptoms. This is for Mrs. Drake. Messing with her plants is probably not a good idea. Way back in the day before I streamed, that frog thick AF. I love her character model movement. All settled in? Good. I'm happy that you're visiting Linda, but I know how much you teenagers like your television and loud there? stereos. Ketamine, thank you so, much. so I must insist that you I act saw your respectfully message. and civilly while I know, you stay right, with Percy? us. Since my nephew Hugh is away on business, I am in charge of this household. And if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's noise. Hugh's daughter Jane is staying with us and would very much like to meet you. But please try not to distract her. She has her stuff. She's and not very be nice. Disturbed during she her takes lessons. allergy meds. She's just a little on edge. She's got those nasty allergies from being in the plant room too much. Is anyone else staying? Is anyone here? else staying here? Oh, her we voice do is not so have good. any permanent house staff, if that's what you mean. The Penvalents have always been self reliant. We get on quite well without being continuously mollycoddled by a squadron of insipid, gossiping ne'er do wells. Now, we do have two other house guests. Oh, Mr. Nigel Mugi, That's who obviously is what I was the asking. Penvalent family history in the library. Molecotl. And Ethel Bossany, Jane's tutor. Researching the Penvalent in the library and Ethel, Ethel Bossany. Do you know what's wrong with Linda? Oh, Linda simply needs some time to adjust to her new living situation. England is not the United States. Dimp we do things differently. This voice. Or should I say properly? Oh my god, we here. just learned so much about her. The doctor believes it's just a case of Zap. nerves. She's the voice of... Wendy in Mario, so she's in like Super oh, Smash Brothers. Thank you for the follow, a spare hole. Welcome in, love your name. Um, and then she's also the voice of Clickers. She voices Clickers in The Last of Us. Her mother told me she refuses to let anyone see her. Is that true? I don't know, and the How's doctors don't know. Hole? No one seems to know anything. All I've been told is that Linda is unwell <laughs> and that in her stead. I must look after matters. Now, please, I really do not have time to entertain you. Well, you may have the run of the house, but do not break anything and refrain from Lee, mucking these about. Accents That's are right. Two Going to the Two rules Jane club. seems incapable right. of following. Cavalli, and before so I forget, for our kitchen is being remodeled, I so our dining situation is rather unorthodox. I've made arrangements with a local restaurant to deliver meals to us. There should be a programmed number for them on the phone in programmed. your room. Programmed. Feel free to order whatever you'd like. I spoke with Mr. Tucker at the Boar's Head Pub, but frankly, I'm not at all sure what he said. I spoke with Mr. Tucker at the Boar's Head Pub. How about but we break frankly, literally I'm not at all sure what he said. Yes, Victorian his Gothic language is quite colorful, life. isn't it? He's Cockney, you see. My brother Alan and I loved to make up Cockney rhymes when we were young. We drive our governess quite batty. Haven't got a pot of glue. Haven't got a pot of glue. Ah, how we teased her. Pot of glue? 
A clue, dear. Haven't got a clue. Rhymes with glue, you see. <sighs> These people were not paid enough for the work that they did. What they have brought us, which is pure joy. I'm concerned about that thing I Absolutely saw Absolutely wild, Sam. It was purely your imagination, <gasps> unless Yum-ly. you saw a stray dog. But I will not countenance any histronics about this issue. We have enough to worry about with Linda. And please I do not get any ideas leg. about going outside to investigate. I do not want you tracking mud all over this house. Can you tell me about Lulu? Oh, Lulu is Lulu. a very old parrot. She must be over 80 years old. Do parrots live please that long? Please be very careful with her. While holding a shovel. You feed her. Parrots have Haven't quite got a clue. constitutions, She's you know. just giving us such Mrs. Doubtfire at the moment. Goodbye. Good evening. Parrots can live hella long? What are they eating? Okay, so I learned nothing. Who's hungry? Right. Who's ready for some nummies? Did you say something, Mrs. Drake? Not to you, dear. Okay. Okay. So we didn't learn much from her. We did learn that the parrot is old. With so many choices for sound commands from this game so far. Including what was obviously Nancy Drew saying her name in a creepy way at the beginning. My favorite was when Nancy voiced her own mother in the last one. Have you read Jane Eyre? No. I have not. I know. I'm ready for some nummies. But I need crazier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hope, I hope to get a crazier person than her. We haven't gone to the library where that guy's doing his research. I'm assuming it's this door here. Why is this house like this? You better give us that full Tyra Banks type. Do it again. Do it again. Hit literally every key. That is nonsense. He just hit all punctuation. Ah, yes. Are you here from the agency? It's about time. Agency? Oh, dear. You're not the typist from the Spiffy yeah, Specialty I know you need one. Agency, are you? Well, how do you do? I'm Nigel Mukherjee. Pleased to meet you. My name is Nancy Drew. Are you visiting Blackmore Manor? What are you I'm Nancy on? Drew. I'm just nosy. Ah! What are you working on? Frondy. I'm researching the Penvalent family, and Mrs. Drake has graciously opened the library for me. Nothing oh, much has been written about the Penvalents atrocious. until now. Why do you think that is? It might have something to do with their scandalous history. Or perhaps it has something to do with the family treasure. Oh, uh, tell me about family the treasure. Family treasure? For centuries, yes, the Pendulins have been very I secretive. I would love to hear you voice Some believe they're after. protectors of a fabulous treasure or of some dark secret. There are several skeletons rattling about in the Penvalin closet. Take, for example, Eleanor Penvalin, tried and convicted of witchcraft in 1650, quite the height of the witch trials here in Essex. It was rumored that Cromwell arranged the conviction. In her will? Because she eat without liver? Damn. Ah, uh, I bet there's an Ireland one. It's that for like a very long time now. I haven't added any VIPs in a long time. Ma'am. Love the way they talk. I just love that it's like obviously American people. Uh, for months. <gasps> for months. But yes, of course, sweetie. Cromwell, or but she wasn't actually a witch. Cromwell? I'm not Oliver observant. Cromwell? That is not a problem. Ironsides? <laughs> that is not a problem. I suppose they don't Just teach history any longer in the U.S. Lady Penvalin was a rather not vocal yours. critic of Cromwell's policies and helped many of his enemies flee the country. Whether she actually was a practitioner of witchcraft is unknown, although many visitors to the manor during her tenure reported hearing strange, ghostly bells. Balls. Some even saw phantom hands floating Poppy, about they the couldn't manor, afford anybody tolling their charmed chimes. This was made on a budget. You mentioned some kind of scandal. When I arrived here, I saw some kind of creature with red eyes outside. Or what are those paintings in the Great Hall? I do have a lot when of When I questions. arrived here, I saw some kind of creature with red eyes outside. Perhaps it was the Blackmore Beast. Probably. What's that? It's a story that's been told for generations out here. During the 1600s, many of the villagers reported seeing a strange beast with red eyes and giant fangs prowling the moors. They asked the mistress of Blackmoor Manor, Eleanor Penvalin, to put a bounty on the beast's head. But, oddly enough, she not only refused, she forbade anyone from hunting the creature. 
for it was bad? rumored that the beast was Eleanor's husband, whom she had Is cursed really for finding tense? out too much about the Penvalent secret. You, you mentioned, mentioned some, some kind, kind of scandal, scandal with the Penvalent family? Well, For bad. having a family member burned as a witch can hardly be considered a mark of pride, I dare say. And then there's the whole business with the Blackmoor Beast. Yeah, you told me about that who one. Who are all those paintings of in the Great Hall? Those are the Penvalents who owned Blackmoor Manor at one time or another. I'll let you get back to your work. You're very Farewell. smart, Nigel. You've done some good shit. Fascinating piece, isn't it? James Penvalent sculpted it in 1591, although it appears that wand was added at a later date. He so was quite a it. flamboyant figure and never married, but one day, a child appeared quite was mysteriously gay. in the castle, and he took her in as his own. That was, was Eleanor, and many of the town folk believed <laughs> her to be a changeling or fairy baby. Who did you call a fairy baby? Who are you calling a fairy baby over here? Flamboyant and never married. They were roommates. Oh god, there's gonna be looking through books. I doubt you'll find much of interest in there. They're mainly law books. Charles Penvalin was a prominent judge in the 16th Aren't century. We all fairy babies? Sad to say, he lost his son at a young age, left his estate to his grandson, Thomas. Nigel, I don't need Those help with it. Nigel, are very old and brittle. What if they I just looked at things the 14th myself? Fourteenth century. Odo Penvalin collected most of them. So His okay. father Randolph and son Milo were rather more interested in military victories than in book collecting. This man is just going to tell me about every little thing I see in this library. What if I did my own research? I'm a detective. A tes Merci. Do you mind if I use this computer? No, not at all. But it's very old. Feel free to use mine if I'm not here. Who's Alan? Alan Penvalin was a noted researcher in computers and languages. My dog's name cute. Jane let me into his computer, but there was the nothing interesting. The booth, Kyle. Thank you for What's the following. What's the password? I'm not sure. What? Really? You know everything about this freaking family and this entire house, and you don't know the password to our computer? I couldn't quite track the provenance of that piece. I'm not but sure. But Philippe must have brought it back from the New World. He became quite wealthy as a merchant Alan? in the Americas and restored Blackmore's original Absolutely splendor screaming to each after other. it had been abandoned for years. Moist, no. His daughter Absolutely Penelope not. continued the renovation, commissioning the construction Coffee, of this library that. by Roger Vizier, who built a similar one for the French general Jean Leboeuf. Oh, I love it when he speaks a little French. I mean, he has to put on a full accent. Are there more books to look at over here? Those are mainly Penelope Penvalin's collections of French novels. She was a patron to a raft of artists, and her salon was quite popular. She was quite the libertine, even kept her maiden Did he name call her lesbian? after her marriage. Gesundheit. Why are you sneezing Don't so go. much? Everybody's got real bad allergies. Maybe that's the whole mystery. That's where her dry skin comes from. That's why everybody's so seepy all the time. Oh, jeez. Did I go over here? Oh, I can't. Okay. So I've explored library. There's something to do with the password there. There's something to do with these pictures. Can I touch this? Looks oh. like a piece is missing. More pieces missing. We need humidifiers. And I went back through this hallway, yes? Yeah. This just has that little thing at the end. Without anything helpful. And then the kitchen. I ordered some food. This place is falling apart. Zertek. J Rook, thank you so much for that lurk chicken. I'd better stay inside. If I track mud in the house, okay. Mrs. Drake will kill me. So we don't need to go out. I'll go back upstairs. Maybe I've unlocked some sort of information. Guess she's not in her room. Can I talk to you some more? Drop of the morning to you, matey. Oh, no, Bye, bird. Nothing. Bye, bird. Bye, bird. And there's a key that I need for this? I need the key. No, Nancy, you know what you're supposed to say. That's so annoying that you don't have the right voice line for this one. I'll try to talk to her again. Bye, bird. Am I right? Hi, Linda. <sighs> 
Linda. I'll be going now. I could use a little information. It's locked, Nancy. Linda is just going to mysteriously stay behind this gauzy little bed frame. Honestly, she's giving such character, though. Okay, so in there... Wait, is the girl still having her tutoring moment? <gasps> nice, I can go say hi to her. I do not have wooden legs. Ugh. Hi. It's her. You must be Nancy. I'm so pleased you're here. I'm Jane. I know you've come to visit my stepmom, but I'd love it if you could pop by She's whenever you get the chance. Oh, we'll have such fun. She's Let's play absolute... a game. No, you never play a game with a creepy child with her legs tucked underneath her in a full gothic gown. No. She's a puppet. This is the devil. <laughs> I'm... I'm going to play a game with her. No, I'm, I'm going to play a game with Jane. Sure, Jane. What would you like to play? Let's play this card game I found She's in the, the orphan. room. Actually, it's Bridget's room. I mean, it used to be her room. I mean, she died like 300 years ago. You can see a painting of her in the great hall. Jane is a ghost She's girl. the one with the telescope. Show desktop. Okay, so you have to match up a pair of constellations. We're in ads. I made all the matches in 25 tries. Try to beat my record. <laughs> so this is the game. Scrotum? That was her farting over and over again. That's the game. I wish I was in ads. Ooh, I found Scrotum. Wasn't Cygnus right here? Damn. Or was Cygnus here? She said 25 tries? Girl, how? Oh, it's like right here. Corvus. No. Gruss's second row? Oh, I think I did it. Is she here? Yeah. Cassiopeia! I love her. Oh, Corvus is... Nope. Couldn't beat your score. Oh, God damn it. Fun, I couldn't beat this possessed I'd like child. I'd like to ask you some questions. Sure. What do you want to know? About Mummy? I mean, Linda. I do hope you'll help. She's been a bit out of sorts lately. Do you know why she doesn't want to be seen? Well, I guess your soul's hers. I think maybe it's because of the lady in black. I was playing in Mummy's room when she wasn't there, and when I looked up, there was a lady all dressed in black putting something on Mummy's oh nightstand. Oh, my God. This child is possessed by the devil. Full. The woman left something? The lady put a note on Mommy's nightstand, but I didn't read it. That's when Mommy like started a way to go, feeling Paul, poorly. Mama? I don't want to think about that. Let's play a game. It will cheer me up. Sure. What would you Are like to play? Are we doing matching again? Look inside the chest over there and pick a game. My great aunt said it's a hope chest, so I put my games in there in the hope someone would come over to play. Oh, no. We can play Bull, Constellation Match, Petroglyph Punch, Skull and Bones, and I also have a jigsaw puzzle. You sure have a lot of games. I love games. I want to make computer games when I grow up. Y'all judged her so hard, but she's just one of us. I hate her. You're so mean to her. Why are there so many games we can play with her? Want to play Constellation Match? I'm going to beat her. There she is. There she is I having really her diarrhea like fart. I really this one. Stop! Why did that? She have to do that last one. She's so me. I love games. Farts, 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 farts. Wait, where isn't Cassiopeia around here somewhere? Oh no. I'm not going to beat this child's score again. Oh, wait. No, shoot. Gris. Wait, wasn't Muska right here? Oh, no. I'm so bad at this. Nope. Couldn't beat your no, score. No, I want to beat her score. Do you want to play a game? Mm-hmm. 
Let's I want to beat her constellation score. Matchup I'm going to do it. Concentrate. Mm -hmm. I like just mm -hmm. clicking. Why does she have to do so much shuffling? It's fake. It's not a real game. That last one is so wet. Wasn't Cygnus like right here? Oh no. Oh no. I'm already so bad at this. It's right here. Okay, so I messed up this one. This run is not good. This game is hard. That last one was so squirty. Oh no, I don't know these. I'm getting so much worse. Where was this? I have to start over. This is over here somewhere. Why is this so hard? I took too many tries, but maybe next time. I'm going to do it. Let me try Let me one more try time. Let me try one more time. I'm going to get the... I really like this one. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! That, that one right there! <gasps> okay, maybe try Skull and Bones. Is way too okay with losing. Sushi Monster, I need to learn from her. Okay, Corvus, top left. Columba. Cassiopeia. Crater. Corvus, Columba, Cassiopeia, Crater. Aquila. Scrotum. Corona, Grus, Cygnus, Achilla. Achilla was right here. Teloscum Cygnus. Oh god, I don't remember where Cygnus is. Corona was over here somewhere. Oh, Cygnus. Teloscum was here. Scrotum was here. Columba. Muska, Cassiopeia is here, Corvus, oh wait, Corvus, Gris, Crater, oh god. You beat my score! Felicitations! Yes! Triggering me for a moment. Do you ha did you test? I really hope it's not that. Wait, that didn't give me anything cool. Have you ever seen anything strange outside? I Once I saw my cool. uncle Roger's toupee fly off during a windstorm. Yeah, that's probably smart. Talk so. about freaky. Sometimes it doesn't show up for so long. I mean, have you seen a strange animal outside? First no, go, first try. But I have heard weird noises like this. Howling, but not like a dog howling, more like something human. I don't want to think about that. Why it's scary is enough having to live so in this gloomy horrifying. place. You love this one, Nova? Sick and contagious and risking chat's health. <laughs> Hung Zai, lean in. <laughs> Open your mouth. <laughs> Do you think there's a treasure hidden around here? I highly doubt it. I mean, if there were, wouldn't someone have already found it? When I asked Ethel about it, she said that it's the pen villain name and heritage that should be treasured. Blech. Oh, yeah. Do you know the Do password? Do you know what the password is for the computer in the library? Yes, but I won't tell. Not unless you beat me at Skull and Bones. My friend Hugo bought this for me. Oh, my it's like Go Fish, but you have to collect three of a kind of weird things like zombies and ghosts. You Into go it. first. Anxiety, what's new? Did they fix your internet yet? What the fuck am I supposed to do? She's literally obsessed. She has nothing to do. She's a ghost child. She's a Victorian ghost child. This is all she can do. What am I supposed to do? Roll. Do you have any bones? Dig. Any bats? Get out your shovel. Oh. Oh. Do you have any bones? Here you go. That's a match. What am I doing? Do you have any coffins? Here you go. That's one, a match. F one full month? 
That's too long, Anxiety. What do you do with your time? It's go fish. But is this my hand? Do you have any ghosts? Go dig. Your witches, please. Oh, damn All it. yours. She took my witch. Any bats? Go dig. Do you have any skulls? Go dig. Rude. Would you happen to have any ghosts? I, I asked you first. Would you happen to have any ghosts? Go dig. Why is she so dumb? Do you have any zombies? Go dig. Any bats? Get out your shovel. I'm going to get her ghosts. I'm going to get her ghosts. Do you have any ghosts? Here you go. Thank That's a match. Thank you. Do you have any haunted houses? Nada. Your witches, please? Sorry. Do you have any skulls? Here you go. Nice. Yeah, Do you have any zombies? Dumb. Dig. Any bats? Go dig. Stop with the bats. I don't have the bats. Do you have any tombstones? Dig. Your witches, please? Oh, but I know you're she going has to have to go dig. A match? Hmm, you're doing great. Do you have any bats? Here you go. Thank I got you. a match. Do you have any skulls? Nada. That's a match. I'm so gonna Any win. haunted houses? All yours. You got a match. Good for you. Don't be happy for her. Do you have any spiders? Afraid not. Go dig. This game does not make sense. Do you have any tombstones? Here you go. Thank you. Do you have any zombies? Sorry. That's a match. What am I... But Do you now, have any spiders? Go no, dig. How am I going to... Do you have any tombstones? Dig. Do you have any spiders? Well, now I do, All yes. yours. You got a match. Good for you. No, I'm not happy for you. Tombstones? I win. You won. Good job. Okay, the password for my grandfather's computer is on his coat of arms, plain as day. How did I win? She literally took things from me and then I was like, win, I win, I did it. I don't understand what that game was. Okay, Alan's coat of arms. The lady in black you saw in Linda's room, did she look like I, anyone I guess you I know? It. Like I said before, I couldn't really see her face, but she was no idea, kind of dressed Linda. like the lady in the great hall. Which lady? Eleanor. I know it sounds <gasps> weird, that's why Eleanor. I didn't want to tell anyone. It's too creepy. Sometimes wonder if I just dreamed it all up. Mrs. Drake is always saying I have a rampant imagination. Yelinor over here. That's how you play games with kids. You just have to declare yourself a winner at some point. You have to be like, I'm done with I this. Should I should get win. going. Come back soon. Is this her game drawer? Oh, and she sings too? Looks like you're learning some interesting stuff. Bet you wouldn't say that if you were the one who okay, had to so learn it. Okay, so she's in lessons from 6 to 2. Who starts their lessons at 6 a.m.? She learns the ballad of Brigitte. <gasps> you had a guinea pig? Precious. Yes, but it died. When? I don't know. I'd really rather not think about it, all right? Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. That was a sensitive subject. A haunted Victorian child. She's absurd. Yeah, it's dead. Let's I not talk totally about it. I totally love that show. Isn't Brady Armstrong so dreamy? Total hottie. On the Heartthrob channel. What them teeth do. That gives you some extra teeth. That's serving extra teeth right there. Chomp, chomp. Nancy, do not bring up the dead. She was like, it's dead. And I'd be like, oh, how? How did it happen? Tell me everything. That was written by Charles Pemberlin way back in like the 1500s. When I read it, it seemed really familiar, you know? But draw upon the strength of absent fiends, friends, and toast to their memories in happiness and wonder. With the stalwart heart of a knight, let charity be thy guiding angel. Stay firm in, in knowledge as a dedicated geometer. And fear not the ravages of father time. Why has geometry come up so much? Okay, 2000s lingo. What a hottie. Hooba hooba, am I right? Who's this? That's my mom. My real mom. She's an opera singer. It's not like she's famous or anything. But she does live in Paris. 
Isn't that where your dad is? What right is now? this book? Don't know really. Ethel gave it to me. She said it belonged to my grandfather. I think so. Do you think Brady Armstrong is cute? Why are we back on her? <coughs> okay, so this says I forget what they are, but I remember we saw that before. We have seen this before. Oh, this is going to be such a hard game. Renee Fleming. This one's going to be tough. <gasps> I use that to make cakes for Lulu the parrot. That's why the ingredients are so nasty. Like, I would eat mealworms. Aren't you glad we don't have to use that thing to cook our food? I saw the kitchen. What happened to it? I guess you could say I happened to it. But it was Ethel's fault. She inspired me to study the oxidation rates of different kinds of cookie doughs. Only my snickerdoodle experiment got away from me. Am I going to be making the parrot food in this game? Do you mind if I make something? Go right ahead. What do I make? Crackers. Oh, no. Did that go in there? Oh, no! I just cooked the crackers! Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Feed it to the answer too soon. I just made hot crackers. I'm gonna go give this to the bird. An introduction to runes. Runes are a set of symbols that came to Britain with the ancient Germanic people who immigrated to the country around 450 AD. They were used throughout Northern Europe during the Dark Ages, which lasted from around 500 AD to 1500 AD. Because these symbols were used for writing, among other things, they can be termed an alphabet. The original runic alphabet was about up to 24 symbols and is known as the Elder Futhark. The first six runes spell out the word Futhark. Four, five, six, they do, right there. I have zero shame. Lee, oh my god. The runes were comprised of straight lines so that they could be easily cut into wood or stone. Oh no! Or groups of eight. Y'all, this game is about to. I couldn't resist. This game is about to be so difficult. But an object or being as well. As a result, each room is associated with specific characteristics or events. For example, bow tie is called Athala and not only represents the letter O, it also means ancestral property. This has been yassified. Yeah, she got herself a pink marker and she went to town on it. Look, she, like, she drew, she did her up. My kind of fun. I mean, I'm all for... Nigel gave that to me when I was in the library once. I think he was hoping it would Pink scare Friday. me, but it didn't. She's I'm too smart to believe in that sort of stuff. Werewolves, lycanthropy. <laughs> or is it lycanthropy? <laughs> I've never heard the word said out loud. Oh, there's so much to learn about being a werewolf. Okay, so that's gonna help me when I'm learning about this creature outside. Let's, for the last thing that we'll do, let's go find out the password. Man, she has so many that's secret notes. That's my family tree. Ask me anything about anyone. Go no, on, thanks. ask me. What's the password to your dad's fucking computer? How about that? Okay, uh, where's the guinea pig on here? How about that? Who was Adam? Oh, uh, like he married Eve. Duh, no kidding. I actually don't know anything about him. I think he was the son of Hugo, though, but I forget. Can hum something else? Um, I do love that she was like, ask me, ask me anything. And I ask her and she's like, I don't know. I don't know her. That was really unhelpful, Jane. Thank you for the follow, Gar Magaden. Funny, I like that name. Okay, I'm gonna go find this. She's me. Do you know Gar? I'm gonna go find this. It's on his seal. It's His name is Alan. Well, how do I know which one he is? But 
But they're lovely. Gar, you seem terrific. If you know Zapster and love Zapster, then I'm already a fan of yours. No, you have to feed the bird his hot cracker. I got you hot cracker, bird. I warmed you up a little seed cracker. Well, how do I know? This is not the right uh, time. Not good. Stay away. Stay away. What's not good? Behind you. Don't look. Don't look. What's behind me? Don't look. Don't look. I'm not falling for that. There's nothing there, Lulu. Nothing there. Hold ya. <laughs> I can't give him his hot cracker. Bye, bird. Don't leave me. I love you. Oh, my God. I'm going to... Here. Hello. Bye, bird. Oh, he doesn't Bye, want a hot cracker. Maybe you're supposed to feed it to the plant? For stuff for miso soup. Oh, Amelia, I kind of want miso soup right now. That might be what I order today. That sounds so good. Okay, but how am I supposed to know which one is Alan's? Oh, but I didn't see him, right? Didn't he say it's Alan Penvillain's computer? Alan. And I didn't see Alan on the family tree. <gasps> I love French onion soup. No, that's that child, Tilly. The possessed child. Hedwig, bitch puddin. I need to know more about bitch puddin. Everybody was saying that, like, bitch puddin is the loveliest human. I didn't see them once at the con, and I'm not familiar with their work. But everybody was singing bitch puddin's praises. Oh, there's also a staircase there. There's more pages to the family tree. Okay, let's look at that. Let's look at Alan, because maybe she'll tell me something about him that will lead me to his picture. Odo, that's an odd name. Yeah, he isn't very exciting, really. Of a human? Like I've farming and cows. His son Milo is Hi, much more Isla. interesting. Alan, 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 Alan. Alan, 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 Alan. Oh, girl, we are going back. Oh, this was Alan's computer? He's Who new. was Alan? He was my grandfather, but I didn't know him because I'm he a one died when I was little. Too. I guess he was Just nice. Like your... Excuse me? That's all the info you can give on Who me? Who was Alan? He was my grandfather, but I didn't know him because he died when I was little. I don't think that's I depicted guess he was in nice. the picture. But I need more information on Alan. Ma'am. Not helpful. They went so overboard on the decoration of this house. Was that the library? I think it was. Okay. Alan, so he's not Alan. And it's not going to be back that far. He's going to be a more modern guy, like over here. Are you kidding me? It's like him. Do we think it was him? Because otherwise we've got these guys... I feel like it's him. Pergamentum exit. Pergamentum exit. Hey, Brad, I turned off all sound commands today. Because I was going to stream for like... He was born in 1933? So do you think he's it's White Jacket guy? Pergam... Uh-oh, I don't remember how to spell it. Thank you for the lurk, Gar. I forgot how to spell that. One moment. So if it's 33, do you think it's this guy here? It was the most... Got it, got it, Gar. Pergamentum. Exit. Pergamentum. Space. Exit. I know, she's been around for a while. Oh, but maybe because it's 80 years old. 
Pergamentum exit. Okay, it's not him. Or maybe it's all one word. Pergamentum exit. No. Work stuff, gross. Oh! Oh, what a terrible clock. What an awful, awful clock noise. Perg? Why are you yelling perg at me? Burbamentos. He has the bird. The bird is 80 years old. So let's say it's Newman Lumen. <laughs> Newman Lumen. Pergamentum exit. Welcome, my oh. friend. Don't tell my sister, but there are ghosts in Blackmoor Manor. Thirteen of them to be exact. The problem is they're very shy, so they only come out when it's very late I at night, usually just after midnight. Okay. And even then, they only show up in quiet places, like the Great Hall, and the hallways, and the conservatory. That's a lot What's of places. Worse, they'll only come out for a very short period of time. But if you can find and touch all you 13 ghosts in the time you're allotted, come back here, and I'll give you a prize, one which I guarantee you'll enjoy. So who's ready to go on a ghost hunt? Oh dear, my watch tells me that the ghosts are not likely to show up right now. Come back between midnight and 4 a.m. Farewell till then. I don't know. I was thinking about it. Should we do the ghost hunt right now? Should we do ghost hunt and then end stream? Outlast Trials. I can't say I loved the Outlast Trials. That must be the food I ordered. Oh, it's here. My pinky dinky. Looks like pinky and perky is turkey. I knew that. Ah. Uh, this smells delicious. And I got bread and butter too. Ghost hunt and then also And Uncle Fred drinking. and Johnny Rudder are just plain old bread and butter. Why did I? Mm. I got some turkey. I'm stuffed. That was real squelchy. Well, I now have just, like, loose turkey in my pocket. Let's set the alarm. I'd be okay if I never heard that now. A live loose pocket turkey. Okay, it's it's scary here now. Why is that bird still? Alive? It's scary. Scary music. Pergamentum exit. So who's ready to go in a ghost hunt? Remember, you mustn't waste any time. Our little chums won't stay visible well, I don't know for where long. To go. So, on your mark, get set, okay. go! What is this? What the hell is that? What do you mean? Am I still being timed? What? There's one. That one. Where are they? Three down, ten to go. Two to go? Conservatory, where else? Is this the conservatory? Is the conservatory where you put plants? It's a ghost hunt. Oh, I don't have time for this. Oh, God. Ow! Maybe oh! I should try feeding it something. Maybe some turkey, but not right now. I'm looking for ghosts. Okay, I found that one there. I need one more. 
hallways, it said. Let's go upstairs. Oh, found you. Oh, there's another one back there. It said hallways, right? Yes. Best game I've ever played. What? None? Oh, here. Was that the sound that because I opened all of them? I got all of them? Is there a ghost right there? No, that's a doorknob. Did I get them all? Oh no, I didn't... Did I not get them all? Are there none in the library itself? Uh-oh. I didn't get all the damn ghosts. I think we're gonna fail. Oh no. Oh, there's probably one back here. There he is. Ten down, three to go. Three more to go? Oh my god. There's no way I'm gonna find three more. Where else did he say? What dis? We're playing Nancy Drew. I've already failed this and you know it. Curry acquired, delicious. Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? It's you. You're the pretty bird. Pay no bird. attention to the bird behind the curtain. I've lost. Excuse me, that was terrifying. It took me many times to get them all. Where am I not thinking of? Are there more in like the conservatory that I missed? That wasn't one, was it? I know Canadian Cactus, what am I doing? Yugi, thank you so much for that follow. Go back to the door. What? You'll have to be more specific. There are many doors. Oh, you have to go back to the computer. Okay. I bet our time is up. It was close to being done anyway. I think our time is up, Leah. I think we have to go start it again. Pergamentum exit. Sorry, time's up. Looks like you weren't quite fast enough for our bashful little friends. Okay, let Better me do it. Next time. I'm gonna Farewell do it this time. Farewell to Ven. You're gonna make me do this. Pergamentum exit. You're gonna make me do so this. So who's ready to go in a ghost me. hunt? Remember, you mustn't oh waste God, any time. Amazing. Our little chums won't stay visible for long. So, on your mark, get set, go. Okay, look for them. Look for them. Are they here in the library at all? And I just messed up last time? No. 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 Okay, we go. Turned into a 24-hour stream. Well, then I wouldn't owe you all one. I'd be like, we did it. Oh, no, I can't get this one. <laughs> Give it to me. Got one. One. I need 13. Pergament, <laughs> not that. <laughs> Mozzie, ridiculous. Three down, ten to go. Okay. <laughs> I don't see any more. Let's go through this hallway and get the one that's in here.
Okay. You do, I know I still owe you a lunch date. That is true. It looks like there's one right there underneath me. There's one right there. But I can't look down there, so I don't think it is. Yeah, it looks like there's one there, but I think that's just a flower. Because you can't look down there. Like if I, yeah. I wonder, do, are we out of time yet? I wish my timer was like actually on the screen. I'll know if this one's, no, that's still there. And the winner is Lulu. The time has come for closing book. 10 down, three to go. All right, where are these last three? Are they in my room? Okay, I think we failed again. There's three more that we don't know of. That has to be the sound of the time running out. It has pleasant little background music though. Sorry, time's up. Looks like you weren't quite fast enough for our bashful little friends. Better luck next time. Farewell till then. I know. Maybe we just look for these three this time. Pergamentum exit. Oh, pergamentum exit. So who's ready to go I in a am. ghost hunt? It's me. Remember, you mustn't waste any time. Losing Our is the new ending. Well, so, on your mark, get over over set, again. go. Okay, so it's not in here. We wasted a little time looking in here last time. We can go, I did conservatory, I did that back hallway. I can't go in any of these rooms, I don't think. Felicity, the door, the door! I Polly need the key, bird. that Polly one. Is a bird. And the winner is Lulu. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Is there anything in her room? She's probably sleeping. You can't go in there at night, okay. She's probably sleeping. Okay. Three down, ten to go. Hi, Mango. Thanks, baby. I'm actually feeling a little better from when I was this morning. When I woke up. Wasn't there one right here? Derek Berry. Derek Berry was great. Oh, wait, did I get this one? I don't think I did. Let's go check to make sure there's nothing. Okay. Got COVID. Oh my God, Cavalli. So many. So many people not feeling well anymore. It was going around for sure. <laughs> Polly, drink water? I will. I promise. I'll drink lots and lots of water. See, that's just a flower, I think. Gosh, I don't know where else they would be. I know I'm just doing the same ones over and over again, but I don't really, oh wait, there's nothing else in here, I don't think. There's nothing there. I don't know where else to look. I have access to everything I need, right? 10 down, three to go. Like there's no access to a room I'm being denied. Okay. Is Jucky Juck. And Jucky Juck got this from their prize and they've been playing. 
So they're better at it than I am. Oh, there's one. Oh, wait. But I always get this one. Which one did I get this? Oh, the one in the hallway. So not library, conservatory, and he said hallways. Conservatory, hallways. Time has got to be up. Creepy little child's room. You can't go into their rooms. So time is probably up. I need something else for this. I bet I do. So let's start it one more time. Sorry, time's up. Yeah, Looks like you weren't quite fast enough for our bashful little friends. Hmm. Better luck next time. Farewell till then. Okay. So who's ready to go on a ghost hunt? I am. Could you explain the rules Remember, one more time? Remember, you mustn't waste any time. Our little chums won't stay visible for long. Shh, so, on your mark, get set, go! Nothing in the library. Jackie, I'm correct in thinking there's nothing in the library, yes? That one. Go. Well, if I could click on these buttons correctly. Side of stairs? Was there something on the side of the stairs I missed too? So we've gone, we know the two in here. I'll get the one by the door in a moment because I think it's faster to go this way and then get it on the way back. And it's just this one here. And then that one upstairs. And then these up here. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Three to go. Well, now what's the time has come for closing up. But now, where are these last two? I have not seen another room to go in. Oh, there's one more. Right? Okay, one more. There's one more that I don't know where it is. So there's three back in that hallway, two in the conservatory, unless there's another one in the conservatory that I've missed. It could be that there's one in that conservatory that I've missed. I don't think it's the upstairs hallway. All right, let's go start it one more time and really check the conservatory this time. Sorry, time's up. Looks like you weren't quite fast enough for our bashful little friends. Better luck next time. Farewell till then. So who's ready to go in a ghost hunt? It's me. I am. Remember, you mustn't waste any time. Our little chums won't stay visible for long. Right, so, let's go straight on your to the mark, conservatory. get set, 
go! Let's see. There's the one by the door, which we'll get in just a second. This better have a good payoff. You know it's not going to. It's going to be just like when we won that memory game against her. And she's like, one. good job. There isn't anything else down here. Nothing else. No ghosts over here. No ghosts over here. Nope, nothing there. And then nothing here. Okay, so I guess the conservatory only has these two. Garden room? You know, I do not recognize any of those rooms y'all play in anymore. I don't see any other thing. And there's one, and there's one. And there's one, and there's one. And then there's the three in this hallway. I back, Jamesy, we're looking for ghosts and we cannot find them. Wait, why can't I find the ghosts in this hallway anymore? There's one right there. And then aren't there, there's one there and there's one more. Where was it? I have ghosts, I got demons. Three down, ten to go. Sorry. There's one more in here. There's three in this hallway. And I found it last time. Oh, there you go. You gotta go all the way to the end. I'm liking it, Berlinish. This ghost hunt is tough. I've got <coughs> I've got twelve of the thirteen. And there's one left that I don't know where it is. <laughs> the ghost hunt is longer than I thought. <sighs> I give hint. I would love a hint. Simadonna, thank you. You can see one right now. Yeah, she's right there. But we know about that. Okay, so now it's done. Upstairs, okay. You need that water, I know. I know, I need to finish this jug and then start a new one today. All right, I'll go look around some more upstairs. Sorry, time's up. Looks like you weren't quite fast enough for our bashful little friends. Better luck next time. Farewell till then. So who's ready to go in a ghost hunt? It's me. All Remember, right, I'm gonna go look you mustn't waste any time. Our little chums won't stay visible for long. So, on your mark, get set, go! All right, we know the ones right here. Got one. So there's no turning around there. There's just turning around there. You know, runs right here. We can't go into that room. We can't go to the room at the end. We can't go into that room. I don't see anything there. Still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. No ghost. Nothing. Three down, 10 to go. Oh, let's go to the very end of this hallway? No. <coughs> I checked my room, yes? <coughs> I think I went all the way up those stairs, didn't I?
Oh, uh, I thought I did. Oh, maybe the ghost hunt was already done. I don't think we'll get it this time, though. Okay, but that's all of them. Three to go. Oh, God. I don't remember where the other ones are that we haven't gotten. There's ghosts in almost every room. Yeah, the, the one we were missing was that one at the top of the stairs. <coughs> um, so it's now just about getting that in time. Oh, I did, I did it. Ghost number 13. Nice. <laughs> Let's go see what we win. Congratulations. You're one of the few people who have seen the 13 ghosts. Of on a Black little Moor secret. Manor. Here we go. As a reward, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. When you are facing the green dragon, look to the left and pull the vase with the tree. Well, now I have to do that. But a word to the wise, if you're wearing a hat, hang on to it, have fun. We did it. When you're facing the green dragon. Scratches your head in a good way. Where is this green dragon? That's not a green dragon. Is the green dragon in here? Well, I've got this turkey. I might want to go feed it to that plant and get that note because she's not down there at this time. Soup weather. Dear Mrs. Drake, concerning your recent inquiry, this is to confirm that according to the rules of inheritance to which your nephew Hugh Penvalin agreed when he assumed ownership of Blackmore Manor, any wife he takes must reside in Blackmore Manor for six consecutive months in the first year of marriage. Thank you, Steph. Should she fail to meet this requirement, half of the estate will pass to the next heir specified in the will of your brother, Alan. Oh... She's trying to get her to leave. I was sorry to hear that Hugh's current wife, Linda, has been ill. While a change of scenery might be good for her, she must stay in the manor for another three months should she and her husband wish to retain full possession of the Blackmore estate. Please convey... Y'all. She's trying to make her sick. Messing with her plants is probably not a good idea. But she takes this... And she's getting her all itchy and she wants out. Messing with her plants is probably not a good idea. She is shady. <laughs> How do I turn this on? Would you let me mess with your plants? Hi, Madachine. Hi, cutie pie. Doesn't work. Does it this work? This must be some kind of well. But where's the water? I'll find it. Uh, excuse me? Hello? I'll put the cracker down there. Why can't I just open that up? Ooh. 
rainy. That's perfect soup weather. It's 3.09. I think I should end stream. Let's go here and save. Save. Curse. Your game has been saved. You all, thank you so much. This is not even supposed to be a real stream. This is just a fake stream. It's secret stream. We played the Suica game. We played this. Uh, I'm going to go walk and get myself some soup. And then I'll come back and I'll get some sanitarium up on YouTube. So you can maybe watch it as it's getting chillier. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I will see you. Thank you, love.